What is a domestique and what do they do? Domestique is a French word which, when used in a cycling context, literally means servant. The role of a domestique is simply to be a helper to their team leader. Some of what the job entails is obvious, other parts are more subtle. The role of each domestique will also depend on their strength, experience, speciality and tactical nous. So here is our guide to that role which will hopefully make everything clearer. One of the main jobs of a domestique is to protect his leader from the wind. Sitting behind another rider will save you around 30% in power on a flat road. Sitting behind your entire team will save you even more. In this way, domestiques will do everything they can to make sure that their team leader saves as much energy as possible, either for the entire stage or at least until the selection of the best riders is made. Domestiques are also priceless when it comes to protecting a race lead. At the start of a stage, the race leader's domestiques will make sure that nobody dangerous goes up the road in an early break and that the group isn't too big. As the stage progresses, the domestiques will start to set a pace on the front, making sure that the gap of the breakaway isn't too large and, depending on the aims of the team, bring it back before the finish. Their job also entails helping their leader if they get into any kind of trouble. If they're forced to stop for a puncture, mechanical problem, natural break or crash, then one or more of the domestiques will wait with their leader and bring them back to the bunch, again saving them as much energy as possible. A domestique will also make sure that their leader doesn't have to stop if they don't need to. If their leader needs more food, drink, extra clothing or anything else, the domestique will drop back to the team car and bring it up to them. Just as important as keeping your leader out of the wind is getting them into the right position before a crucial part of the race, be that a climb, cobbled section or an area of potential crosswind. If the leader had to do it himself, he'd have to use a lot of energy to get into the right position and might not be at his best when the crucial point actually starts. Likewise, if the leader starts an important section at the back of the bunch, he'll either use unnecessary energy to get to the front of the group or, even worse, not get there at all. Some of the more experienced domestiques will make on-the-spot tactical decisions on the road. Many races these days do not allow race radios, so this quality is becoming even more important. The team leader is normally the strongest rider in the team, but that doesn't necessarily make them the most tactically aware. A good domestique can keep them calm and stop them making any mistakes on the road. The job of a sprinter's domestique is slightly different to that of a GC leader and also depends on what role you have within the sprinter's team. For a couple of riders, the job will be to make sure that the early breakaway isn't too big, then set a tempo on the front of the bunch to make sure that the gap doesn't get too large and then, eventually, start to bring the gap down. Other riders fall into the job of the lead out. A good sprinter's team will aim to keep as many domestiques as possible for the last part of the race. Once that team gets into the final kilometres, each domestique will have their own job. Often starting with 3Ks to go, their aim will be to keep the speed as high as possible in order to keep their sprinter out of trouble and reduce the risk of them getting blocked in. That speed will build up gradually until the final domestique's role is to, ideally, hit the front with 400 metres to go, gradually increase the speed until around 200 metres to go, at which point the sprinter will, hopefully, do his stuff. An occasional job for a domestique is to enter the early break, with the sole aim of helping their leader later in the race. In a mountainous stage, for example, some riders might not be capable of making the front group on one of the later climbs when the pace rockets. However, if they're in the early breakaway and setting a steadier pace, then they can be in a great position if their leader attacks from the group behind. They can then pace them for as long as possible with the aim of maximising the time gap to their key rivals. Domestiques will also sacrifice their own equipment if the situation arises. At a crucial point of a race, the team cars are sometimes not directly behind the front group, so if a leader punctures, the domestique will give them their wheel to speed up the change. Likewise, if there is a rider who is of a similar size to the leader, they might simply swap bikes. On some occasions, a domestique can be useful simply to give their leader motivation or keep their morale up. Athletes often start to question their own ability at critical moments and cyclists are no different. The relationships that teammates build up together can often mean that the domestique is key in making sure that their leader doesn't give up, quit or hold back at the crucial moment. Finally, the term super domestique refers to a rider who is one of the best in the world in his own right, capable of winning races himself, but who sometimes puts himself at the service of others. Think Fabian Cancellara at the 2013 Vuelta, Chris Froome at the 2012 Tour de France, Tony Martin riding for Mark Cavendish or Jens Vogt at almost every other race of the season. The main issue with cornering in the rain is the reduced level of grip, so fundamentally you need to take this into account.